Welcome in folks to another Fallout 76 video and in today's video we're going to be showcasing a build that some of you new and veteran players might find very useful and rewarding to work towards during your journeys across Appalachia and beyond. That's right folks, we're going to be showcasing my Junkies Heavy Gunner build, which in my opinion is a very optimal and useful build for you high health power armor players. But before we get into the video, if you can hit that like button so that more people in the Fallout 76 community can see this, and if you feel you're missing out on videos, consider clicking that bell notification button so that you can keep up to date whenever I post a new video. So let's get into it! The Junkies build, as stated in my previous video, is a build I've been using for probably 90% of the time I've been playing Fallout 76, and most of the builds I currently use are based around the Junkies effect, so I highly consider checking out my previous video on the Junkies sneak rifle build, where I show you an in-depth look into the addictions and mutations recommended for this build, which you can find here, and I'll also leave a link to that video in the description below, because in this video we're mainly going to be focusing on the legendary perk cards, the perk cards for the build, and also the weapons and armor you can use to make this heavy gunner build very optimal. Now I love heavy guns, and I also love using and wearing power armor. So with that being said, if you're a high health player and you want to feel and be as tanky as possible while also dealing out as much damage as humanly possible with your playstyle, then look no further, because after a lot of trial and error, I feel I've put together the following Junkies Heavy Gunner build that I feel can keep you pumping lead into your foes while also being a walking terminator of the wasteland, that whenever a Scorch Beast attacks you with its screeching attack, it's as if you're getting attacked by a bloat fly. So let's start with the special stats. As stated before, for you new players, you will need to invest a lot of time into ranking up the following legendary perk cards to boost your special stats. Now you don't need to have every perk card maxed out, but it doesn't hurt to have it maxed out. You'll need max rank of legendary strength, legendary agility, legendary intelligence and legendary luck, as this will give you plus 5 to each of your perk points in each of those categories, capped at 15 perk points max. So make sure to get those rank ups in first, but if you're new to the game, you can mimic this build to the best of your ability. Your special points, once you have those legendary perk cards maxed out, will need to look a little bit like this. 11 points into Strength, 3 into Perception, 13 into Endurance, 5 into Charisma, 9 into Intelligence, 3 into Agility and 12 into Luck. Once you have those special points allocated, you can use the following perk cards to optimize this heavy gunner build. In the strength category, we have the following. Max rank of expert heavy gunner, heavy gunner and master heavy gunner so that your non-explosive heavy guns now do plus 60% extra damage while using heavy guns. Rank 1 of bear arms so that all of your heavy guns now weigh 30% less. Max rank of bandolier so that your ballistic weapon ammo will now weigh 90% less. And believe me folks, you're going to be carrying a lot of ammo for this build so this is a must. Max rank of traveling pharmacy so that the weight of all of your chems including stim packs are reduced by 90% because as stated you're a junkies build and you're going to be carrying a lot of chems. In the perception category we have the following, max rank of grenadier so that your explosives detonate with twice the radius. Now I know there's probably a lot of people wondering why use this perk card? Well folks the grenadier perk card also affects weapons with the explosive effect, so this is a very useful card for any weapons you have with that effect. And also rank 1 of refractor so that you gain plus 10 to your energy resistance. In the endurance category we have the following, max rank of fireproof so that you take 45% less damage from your explosions and flame attacks. This is a very useful card for this build as this will be one of many perk cards that will make you as tanky as possible against those scorch beasts and their screeching attacks. Max rank of rad resistant so that you now gain plus 40 to your radiation resistance. Max rank of ghoulish, so that radiation now regenerates even more of your lost health. Rank 1 of rejuvenated, so that you gain increased benefits from being fully fed and fully hydrated. 
And finally, max rank of chem resistant, so that you gain complete immunity to chem addictions. Because remember, being a junkies build, you're going to be utilizing chems as much as possible, and we don't want any extra addictions that might cause this build to be affected negatively. In the Charisma category, we have the following. Max rank of Tenderizer, so that your target now receives 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Strange in numbers, so that positive mutation effects are 25% stronger if teammates are mutated too. And Inspirational, so that when you're on a team, you gain 5% more XP. In the Intelligence category, we have the following. Max rank of Demolition Expert, so that your explosives now do plus 60% extra damage. And remember folks, this card also affects any weapons with the explosive legendary effect, so keep that in mind. Max rank of Stabilize, so that in power armor, heavy guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% of your enemy's armor. Rank 1 of Portable Power, so that all power armor parts and chassis are reduced by 25%. Rank 2 of Power User, so that your fusion cores will now last 60% longer. And lastly, Max Rank of Batteries Included, so that your energy weapon ammo weighs 90% less. And I will say that this card is a must if you're going to be using heavy guns like the likes of the Gatling Plasma, the Gatling Laser, and also the Goss Minigun. Yeah, I know, you Goss Minigun users know exactly what I'm talking about. And in the agility category, we have the following. Max rank of dodgy, so that you avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. And also max rank of adrenaline, so that you gain plus 10%, max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill. And this card is a must and an all around per card for any build. And lastly, in the luck category, we have the following. Rank 1 of Lucky Break, which will mean that you gain a slight chance that your equipped armor will repair itself when being struck. Rank 1 of Luck of the Draw, so that you have a slight chance that your weapon will repair itself when hitting an enemy. Rank 2 of Ricochet, so that you gain a 12% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's range damage. Max Rank of One Gun Army, so that your heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple a limb. Very useful against Scorch Beast Queen fights to try and ground the Queen. Max rank of Class Freak so that the negative effects of your mutations are reduced by 75%. Max rank of Starch Genes so that you will never mutate from Rads and Rad Away will never cure mutations. Remember folks, if you're wondering what mutations to use, I recommend checking out my previous video that you can find here or in the description below. And lastly, Bloody Mess so that you deal plus 15% bonus damage and your enemies will now explode into a gory red paste. And before we move on to our next section for this build, I want to also include that a very useful perk card that works very well in synergy with this perk card setup is max rank of taking one for the team, as this will mean that enemies will take 40% extra damage when they attack you if you're on a team. Now that we've covered your legendary perk cards, your special stats, and the perk cards for this heavy gunner build, let's move on to the fun part that brings this build to life, and that's your weapons and armor. Now when it comes to your weapons, you're mostly going to be utilizing the likes of, and as this build suggests, heavy guns. So let's take a look at some of the heavy guns that you can use. Now, before you ask and before it's suggested, I would highly recommend not basing this build around legacy weapons, such as the Explosive Gatling Plasma, because the build that I've put together for you players that either don't have Explosive Legacies, and for players that have Explosive Legacies, and know that eventually that Explosive Legacies like the Gatling Plasma will eventually be nerfed, and that you can utilize those other heavy weapons that have been sitting in your stash box. I would also highly suggest checking out the video that one of YouTube's fellow Fallout 76 content creators tier put together, which you can find here and also in the description of the video, where he went in depth into the explosive legacies like the Gatling Plasma and how eventually after the next update, yes, they will be fixed to deal the correct area of damage towards the Queen, but also these weapons will be, and I will reiterate, will be nerfed. So make sure to check out that video and remember to drop a like and follow for more of Tears content. 
some of the weapons you can utilize and I also recommend trying to aim towards the likes of heavy guns with the junkies effect as any weapons with the junkies effect and with the correct amount of addictions with a max of 5 addictions can boost your damage output by plus 50% extra damage. And for example, as you can see, with the likes of my Junkie's Primed Gatling Laser, it sits at a base damage of 61. But when I equip it, the damage increases to 79 because of the Junkie's effect. You can even see with the likes of my Junkie's Light Machine Gun, which is a heavy gun that goes from 111 base damage all the way up to 139 because of the demolition perk card and the addictions I have in place. I know you can probably tell already by gazing through my inventory on screen that yes, I do have an explosive Gatling Plasma, but for the purpose of this video, I want to avoid even giving this weapon the time of day. Because like I mentioned, these weapons will be nerfed and I want to encourage people to move away from crutches like these and focus on other heavy gunner weapons. I do use this from time to time and I'm not denying that I do use this. But I mainly bring this out to have a little bit of extra fun and try not to equip this as my main weapon for this build. Another great weapon that you can use is the likes of the Goss Minigun. And again, if you can roll a Junkie's Minigun, that would be very beneficial. But even if you can't, rolls like Instigating or Two Shot or even Furious can even be very, very useful. And finally, moving on to your armor. This will more than likely take you a bit of time depending on how lucky you are with RNG in this game. If you're very lucky with RNG in this game, I would highly suggest doing the Lotto, because RNG in this game can be very unforgiving. However, similar to my previous video, I would recommend, and since the integration of the legendary power armor feature, trying to roll and obtain vanguard pieces for your power armor, as this will boost your energy and damage resistance by plus 35, the higher your health. When it comes to those two or three star rolls, that's entirely up to you. But I would recommend because you're a heavy gunner build and mostly because you're going to be carrying a lot of heavy weapons and ammo, trying to aim towards getting rolls like plus one to strength, weapon rate reduction or even ammo rate reduction effects. And there you have it folks, that's an in-depth walkthrough of my Junkies heavy gunner build. I want to add that it might take you a bit of time obtaining and unlocking all of these weapons, armor, perk cards and other attributes to this build, but hopefully this video will have given you some motivation and understanding to how this build works. Like I said earlier, I've been using the Junkies build for probably 90% of the time I've been playing Fallout 76, and after a lot of trial and error and testing, I feel I've put together a build that is an excellent addition for you high health players. And have fun with this folks, and heck, even improve upon what I've created here, or even follow this build down to a T, it's entirely up to you. And if you liked this video and found it beneficial, consider hitting the subscribe button for more Fallout 76 build videos in the future. I also stream 5 days a week over on Twitch, so if you want to see this build and other builds in action, or even just want to hang out with some of the Fallout community, I'll leave a link to my Twitch in the description below. If you want to also connect with more people who play Fallout 76 and want to join our community, you can join my Discord server, which I'll leave in a link in the description below. If you like the work I produce and want to support me in a more personal way, you can now subscribe to me on Patreon. Patreon members will get a host of benefits such as access to Patreon-only channels in my Discord server, where you can connect with other Patreon members and more. With being a Patreon member, you'll also gain extra benefits within my channel, such as being mentioned and memorialized in the credits to each of my videos. Gold members will also receive a free item and a permanent discount code to my store, which will be available to all members within my community and launching very soon. I want to also say a massive thank you to all of my followers over on Twitch and here on YouTube, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work I produce. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland, and I'll catch you all in the next video.